guys welcome to a brand new video today I am going to be doing my bout of books and my crusher TBR wrap up um, this readathon went from May 11th through May 17th they overlapped so I just combined them together and did them both anyways let's just get on with the video because I've read a lot and I'm super happy with how much I read for that week and I can't wait to tell you guys what I read. Starting off with the first book I read in the readathon was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I read this the first day and I gave it, of course, five out of five stars. That will never change. The second book I read, I think, was probably my favorite book I read during that week, besides my Harry Potter, of course. Um, and that is going to be A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And Oh my god, guys, you have to read this. Have to, have to, have to. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. I read through this so quickly. And this is a 416-page book, and I read it within a day. I just flew through it. It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling mixed with Faye, and I thought it was so good. Now, normally, for the most part, I like the idea of retellings, but not a lot of people can pull it off. But Sarah J. Mass did a perfect job at it. Everything was very subtle and you really didn't notice it unless you knew Beauty and the Beast by heart. Um, and uh, so good guys. Five out of five stars. The next book I read was Very Good Lies by J.K. Rowling and I thought this was very very inspiring. Um, this was J.K. Rowling's speech that she gave at Harvard back in I think it was 2008. And it's a very, very short book, but just after reading it, it made me want to pursue my dreams even more of being an author. So if you guys have not checked this one um, out yet, I think you guys really should. I gave it probably, I would say, between a 4.5 and a 5 stars. Like, I would love it if it was a big book. I probably would have read the entire thing. But with it being short, I just read it really fast after I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses. Next book I read was An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. At first it was kind of slow because it's very heavy in the fantasy department and not really any romance. Like the romance is subtle, like very, very subtle. Like this is the least romantic um, fantasy book that I've ever read. But I talked to um, Sabah the other day on Twitter and... Um, she's getting a second book. So you guys should really pick this up. I thought it was really, really good. The writing was beautiful. I think she did such a great job at this. Um, but yeah, I give this 5 out of 5 stars. You guys should really check it out. Plus, it's becoming a movie, so you definitely want to read this before it comes out. And the last book that I read during the readathon was The Air by Kiara Cass. Now, when I first started this book, I was kind of, um like iffy on reading it only because I really wanted Maxon's and America's point of view still like I was so used to that with the other selection books but then when I got to this it was from their daughter Edlin's point of view so that took me just a little bit to get used to and then also to see Maxon and America at almost 40 years old like that was just like crazy to me. I had to get used to all of that. Like it's been 20 years um, since the last book um, inside the book of course and yeah I had to get used to it but once I did I thought it was so fantastic. Like a lot of the problems that majority of you had with America and her very immature state of things like Edelyn was a completely different person. Like, she was very much, um, I'm an adult and I'm gonna run the country. And she didn't make very poor, she didn't make any, like, really poor decisions. So I thought that was really great. So it was so much fun just jumping right back into the selection, um, series. And seeing it from the point of view of the person that has to pick her selected. So I thought that was really cool and I think she did a really great job. So I cannot wait um, for the next one because it left on a cliffhanger. So we'll see how the next one is. But I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I really loved it. I read a total of 5 books 
and that equaled out to 1,583 pages. All right, guys, that's all I have for the video. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys participated in either one of the readathons and then what you were able to read or what was your favorite book. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.